independence for East Pakistan. Harry? The bitterness of poverty and resentment in East Pakistan erupted today in a kind of civil war. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the leader of East Pakistan, declared the region an independent republic, which he said will be called Bangladesh, the land of the Bengalis. Pakistan is a nation united only by religion. West Pakistan has the money and the government and the resources. East Pakistan, a thousand miles away across India, has the poverty and the misery. It seems to get in the world news only when it sets a record for disaster, as it did last fall with the tidal wave that killed 200,000 people. Now West Pakistan, which also has most of the army, is trying to crush the revolt. There are reports of many casualties in Dhaka and other East Pakistan cities. Americans reaching the U.S. consulate in Dhaka say that the army is using full force, including tanks, throughout the country. The revolt came after a final breakdown of talks for which Pakistan President Yahya Khan went to East Pakistan. The background of today's Declaration of Independence now from Ted Koppel and Dhaka. As far as the people of East Pakistan are concerned, the central issue has never been in doubt. They have been treated, they feel, as though their country were a colony of West Pakistan. In last December's general election, East Pakistan's Awami League won an absolute majority in the National Assembly. The assembly was due to convene on March 3rd. It would draft a new constitution. Given a majority voice in the new assembly, things would be different for East Pakistan. But the assembly never met. Under pressure from West Pakistan's political leader, Ali Bhutto, President Yahya Khan postponed the assembly for three weeks. Under the leadership of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the Bengalis took to the streets. The situation became so critical that President Yahya himself flew here to Dhaka to meet personally with the Sheikh. The meetings were so private that no member of the press has yet seen or photographed the two men together. Finally, the third protagonist was summoned from Karachi. Ali Bhutto arrived in Dhaka surrounded by machine gun toting bodyguards. The hotel where he stayed became an armed camp cordoned off by the army. The precautions were necessary. In a competition for the most hated man in East Pakistan, Ali Bhutto would win in a walk. Within 24 hours of Bhutto's arrival in Dhaka, President Yahya postponed the National Assembly yet again, this time indefinitely. The Bengalis used the occasion to proclaim a kind of de facto independence. To the crack of a one and a half gun salute, a rifle and what looked to be a Luger pistol, student groups hoisted the new Bangladesh flag before a crowd of some 10,000 people. But the Bengali people have tasted the influence of their own numbers. Sheikh Mujib's rhetoric and their own slogans have convinced them that compromise is tantamount to surrender. This is Ted Koppel, ABC News, Dhaka.